I have to admit, I've had a bit of a rocky relationship with Jordan Peele movies over the years. He's a man who clearly doesn't lack for ideas and creativity, but he seems so enamoured with his grand concepts and social commentary that he tends to forget about weaving them into a believable and consistent narrative. Get Out was a decent horror movie with an inventive premise that explored contemporary political issues in an entertaining way. On the other hand, Us was a visually striking film with excellent performances, let down by a muddled and meandering script that didn't make a lick of sense if you applied logic to it, and seemed to be reaching for big ideas about American society without really knowing how to get them across properly. So I wasn't exactly thrilled about watching Nope, the third movie in his horror trilogy when it came out last year. I I mean, I did my best to avoid reviews at the time, and now that I finally have seen it, I find myself genuinely torn on this one. On the one hand, Nope is an ambitious and often inventive movie with fun and interesting characters that manages to do the unexpected and delivers some individually striking and haunting moments, but on the other, the plot has only a tenuous grasp of reality and its ideas and themes are the most muddled and nebulous of all of his movies. The film stars Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer as brother and sister O.J. and M. Haywood, a pair of horse trainers supplying animals for the movie industry. The siblings run the family business now after their father was mysteriously killed on his ranch when small objects suddenly started raining down from the sky. Keep that one in mind because it's going to be important later. Anyway, the two of them are basically polar opposites in terms of personality. M is upbeat, extroverted and charismatic, while OJ is sullen, quiet and troubled. A mishap on the set of their latest movie causes them to lose their lucrative contract, forcing them to sell some of their animals to a nearby fairground just to keep the business running. And if that wasn't bad enough, the ranch comes under attack one night by an unseen predator that steals some of their horses, consumes them and then drops the remains on the ground all around the farm. Kind of like what happened to their father. OJ's convinced that it's an alien spaceship of some kind, and the two of them set out to gather video evidence of it, which they plan to sell to the news media for massive profits. Nice plan. Unfortunately, their attacker is one step ahead, and every time it shows up, it generates some kind of weird electromagnetic pulse that disables anything electrical. So needless to say, digital cameras aren't much use here. The stakes get raised dramatically when the predator attacks the nearby fairground and consumes everyone in it. Which raises the rather obvious question, what the fuck even is this thing if it's not an alien spaceship? Well, whatever it is, it's getting more aggressive and territorial, leaving M and OJ with a simple choice. Do they cut and run, or make a stand and take it head on? Like I said earlier, Jordan Peele movies are very much focused on their themes and ideas, sometimes at the expense of logic and consistency. Get Out was all about discrimination and racism, Us was focused more on the class and wealth divide in American society society, while Nope is, well, a bit more open to interpretation. If I was going to be generous, I'd say that it's a film about our collective obsession with spectacle, money making and exploitation, especially when it comes to media. The more news of the attacks begin to spread, the more people show up hoping to get something out of it, whether it's tabloid news reporters eager for a scoop, or famous cinematographers chasing the perfect shot at any cost, or even OJ and M themselves looking to capture proof of aliens to make them rich. Everyone's out for themselves, willing to take insane risks for the chance at fame and success usually to their costs. But there's also an interesting subtext here about the exploitation of animals and the arrogant human belief that they can be bent to our will. The main narrative is intercut with flashbacks to a kid's TV show in the 1990s where a trained chimpanzee went nuts and killed several cast members. It's a haunting scene that's both horrific and weirdly tragic, a frightened and confused animal pushed beyond its limits by people who don't understand or care about it. And yet, the lone survivor of the incident also ends up exploiting the tragedy as a kind of cheap carnival sideshow, charging people to visit his own personal museum to the event. He even believes he can tame and control the creature in Nope, luring it in with animal sacrifices in the hopes of turning it into a tourist attraction. So basically what I'm saying here is that thematically, there's quite a lot going on in Nope if you care to look beneath the surface. Shit man, it's got more going on than about 90% of the sludge coming out today, so props for that. The only problem though is that getting there means turning off the logic and common sense part 
parts of your brains for the majority of the film. For example, how and why does a living creature generate an electromagnetic field? How does it generate a persistent cloud that doesn't move with the winds? Where does it come from? And how has it avoided detection all this time, even with the cloud to hide it? Wouldn't such a massive flying object show up on radar somewhere? Why does nobody try shooting the thing down? I mean, I'm pretty sure ranchers living in the middle of nowhere should at least have a few rifles to hand, and a dead body would be a lot more compelling evidence than a low-res picture that could have been faked. Why wouldn't the main characters call in the police and government when the scale and nature of the threat becomes clearly obvious? I mean, I'm pretty sure an F-22 would make short work of this fucking thing. Why does it turn into a giant flying jellyfish for the climactic battle when it never had to do that before? Why does it only attack people who look directly at it? Needless to say, the answer to all these questions is don't know. And I guess that's the frustrating thing about Jordan Peele movies. He's always reaching for big compelling ideas and mysteries, but he doesn't seem to have the writing skill or the patience to create a solid narrative foundation for them to sit on. Or he just doesn't give a fuck. But the bigger his thematic ambitions get with each movie, the higher he tries to reach and the more unstable his platform becomes. And it's a shame really because most other aspects of the film are really solid. Kaluuya and Palmer both do great jobs in their lead roles, they've got good chemistry together and play well off each other, neither one really emerges as the dominant force, they're both just well written characters with their own strengths and weaknesses, played by competent actors. Stephen Ewan gives a surprisingly nuanced performance as Ricky, a former child actor running a local fairground. He's not exactly an evil guy, but he's more of a cynical businessman, willing to exploit personal tragedy for profit. And damn, it's always nice to see Michael Wincott getting decent roles. He's not a huge player in the movie, but he dominates every scene that he's in, and his gravelly voice is always awesome to listen to. The cinematography, soundtrack and production design are all excellent, the nighttime scenes have a great sense of eeriness and slowly build in tension and dread, the idea of an isolated home under siege by an unknown enemy, and the flashbacks to the kids' TV show are riveting stuff. Peel also seems to have a good sense of levity in his films, knowing just when to sprinkle in a little humour to break the tension and lighten the tone after a particularly heavy sequence, and Nope is no different. Ultimately, despite my criticisms, I have to admit there's plenty to recommend this film, and in a time of mindless CGI blockbusters and tired superhero flicks, I can definitely appreciate a movie with a bit more to say for itself. The big frustration for me though is that Jordan Peele's ambition as a filmmaker tends to exceed his ability to get his ideas across, and the more ambitious his movies get, the wider that gap is becoming. I don't know, it feels like he needs someone to help distill those ideas down into a manageable narrative. Either way, I kind of see Nope as more of a collection of individually promising elements that don't quite fit together into a cohesive end product. It's not the worst thing you'll ever see, and with a bit more work it could have been hammered into something truly excellent, but as it stands, it's more of a diamond in the rough than a perfectly cut gem. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now.